Welcome back and happy fall. I'm so excited you guys are here. And I've been thinking a lot about my favorite fall fruits and vegetables. My favorite fall sweet treat is apples. But I also love earthy beets, sweet corn, and yummy carrots. Today, we're gonna talk about our featured Oregon harvest for the month of October. Does anyone think they know what it could be? I'll give you a hint. It's all around me. There, and there, and there, and there, and there. Did I hear someone say? Pumpkin! No, not a Miss Bailey pumpkin. Real pumpkins. I know in the fall, carving pumpkins can be fun, but did you know that you can eat pumpkin too? And I don't mean just in pumpkin pie, but we'll get to yummy recipes later. First, let's learn a little about pumpkin. Did you know that pumpkins are a winter squash? But what even is a winter squash? All right, so winter squash is harvested in mid-September through October. It gets its name winter because its thick skin allows it to be stored all winter long. Pumpkin is an excellent source of vitamin A. Does anybody remember what vitamin A is good for? Our eyes, just like carrots. In the fall, squash is in season. This means that even though you might see it at the grocery store all year round, it is its most fresh and tastes its best in the fall and winter. And pumpkin isn't the only winter squash. There's acorn squash. It's round and very sweet. There's butternut squash, which is so sweet as well, and you can roast any of these. And there's spaghetti squash, which you can scrape out the inside and use it like spaghetti noodles. Time for some trivia. Who remembers our USDA My Plate? Half of My Plate is fruits and vegetables, and then we have grains, protein, and dairy. So, my question for you is, which food group do you think squash falls into? Did I hear someone say, vegetables? Because if you did, you're right. Squash has seeds, but it is a vegetable because of its nutrient content. So it is the fruit of the plant. But when you eat it, it's a vegetable. Okay, next question. What is something all squash have that you can either roast and eat or use to grow something new. Hmm. The right answer is seeds. I love roasting seeds. You should try it, but always make sure to ask an adult first. Okay. Does anyone remember getting these in class last year? This is our pumpkin newsletter. I'm going to give some to your teacher so you can take it home and read it with a parent. There's a lot of great information about storing pumpkin and using canned pumpkin. Yum. But the best part is the fact. There's a few delicious recipes, including this kid approved pumpkin breakfast cookie recipe. But remember a few important things. Always wash your hands before you cook and always ask an adult. 
it's time for my favorite part of the day, the joke. So, how do you fix a broken pumpkin? Anyone? Anyone? All right, I'll tell you. With a pumpkin patch. Sorry, that joke was a little cheesy. <laughs> okay, sorry, Miss Bailey will stop now. I'm being cringy. Finally, today we're gonna start our food adventure passport together. Every week, we will feature a different food and we'll learn about it. And then I'll stamp your passport. So, this week you've earned your winter squash stamp. Way to go, food heroes. And that's also all we have for today. So, let me know if you try any of these delicious recipes and I hope you have a great rest of your week.